Alright people, these are, this is the Strong Fortress, well, the bottom part of the Strong Fortress. We're going to be looking for the Stone Keys, and this place is um, inhabited by the Fuzzies. You'll move slower walking in water, so be careful of that. You got the Moonstone, a mystical stone shaped like the moon. Alright, now they tell battle. Alright, first, I want to tattle them, of course. That's a fuzzy. What a hyper little guy, huh? Cut back on the caffeine. Isn't that the worst? I mean, ew, doesn't that just sound really gross? Anyway, what is it? So, uh, if they hit you, um, they'll take your HP, of course, but then they'll revive their own HP. So be careful of that. Kill them all like this. They won't take your HP if you guard against them. Cool, another level up. <coughs> Alright, um, I'm going to do my um, HP for the heck of it. I do know some people who are able to beat this entire game without leveling up their HP once. But, of course, that would be only be the experts. I'm not that much of an expert, you know, I have 100%. Speaking of which, there's this extra dungeon called the Pinnacle Hunt Trials. I will be doing the Pinnacle Hunt Trials. Because, um... Now that I know how the place works out, um... I have beaten it quite a few times, and... When you, uh, when you, when you get used to it, it's not really all that hard. You got the sun, so mystical sun, shade like the sun. But you gotta know what you're doing, otherwise you don't stand a chance there. Alright, um, again, use fire flower. Alright, that was easy enough. So we got the both moon and sunstone. By the way, I forgot to mention, around the opening, when, you know, where we saw a Hookdale castle, and we saw a bunch of rocks? You might notice some holes in the rocks shaped like a moon and shaped like a sun. That's where we put these stone keys. Don't think it'll be that easy getting out. Look! It's a mini-boss. Me or Hey, you suspicious types! This is our place, and coming in here is rude, rude, rude! Sorry, suckers! If you want a warm welcome, too bad! Now I lunch on your head! Alright, Tattle, the Golden Fuzzy! That's a Gold Fuzzy! Whoa, those are super rare! I'm serious! Wow! Max HP is 10, attack is 1, and defense is 0. Oh, but hey, even though it's a fuzzy, it won't suck up your HP, which is nice. Weird, huh? I just wonder, though, how does this thing hide? Look at it, it's so gaudy! And golden. Near, 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 near. Alright, again, he's fire power. Mew! Hey, out! Each of the top of them, you look! But I'm not through yet. Everyone, get him! Alright, the Fuzzy Horde! We're in for it now, huh? They're getting Goombella! Surprised they only attack one of you at a time. Well, it, they do more attacks, but you know. Gold Fuzzy's easy to protect by. Well, actually gives her a little description of the Fuzzy Horde, but, you know. We can already see their HP since technically they're a bunch of Fuzzies. Alright, uh, you don't really have to kill the Fuzzy Horde, because he will, they will die if you kill the Gold Fuzzy, and you won't get the points for them, but it's a lot more fun if you kill the Fuzzy Horde first. By the way, you notice how they have, like, 20 HP? The 
funny thing, the funny thing is, if you get them down to a very low health, they're just going to, you know, run away, and you'll get the points for them. You don't really have to cost all their HP. See, like that, I didn't cost all their HP, and they ran away. Because they're cowards. Alright, um, let's make this quick, dude. We're going with our lives, eh? Well, you know, our lives, our lives as in me and Gimbella. You, however, <laughs> <laughs> you, however, are going to die. And not quite the way I expected. Me, uh, you got me. <laughs> I cannot believe that just happened. <laughs> oh, fuck, it fell from the from the top of the stage and killed him. <laughs> oh boy, I cannot believe that just happened. <laughs> I knew you were going to die, but not quite the way I expected. <sighs> oh, that's so going to make people laugh. Alright, let's recharge my junk. All the enemies came back, but I'm not going to waste my time to kill them now. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna skip all the fights I already did. Alright, you know you know what you know what would, you know what would actually be nice in this game? In Paper Mario One you can push the Z button and do a little spin attack. <clears throat> and it helps you move a whole lot faster. I'm sad, it's pretty sad I got rid of that here. Because it was really useful. I mean, really. Oh, whatever. Wait, say something about a... Nintendo 64. You know the N64, right? Well, the game I play the most on it is Paper Mario. There's there's this girl in the game, Bo, who's pretty much the cutest boo of all time. Yeah, they give you they give you some references to the first Paper Mario, like Lady Bo, the the Boo Princess, who's one of your partners. Matter of fact, she is actually in this game. This good sir is an inn. No thanks. I'm just showing you. I'm just showing people what this place looks like. I don't think about. I do gotta get rid of this inn coupon. Um, excuse me. Not again. <coughs> It's, it's Mario, right? Look, I, um, see, the thing is, I've been waiting here in the hope of getting to speak with you. I have to ask you something, and you can say no, but I'm going to throw it out there. Um, see, I was wondering, would you... Oh, please save me, would you, if I hooked down? Please, I'm begging you. Sorry about that. See, my dad, he wanted to foul hook tail long ago, but he never came back. I miss him, of course. I miss him badly. Well, this is just about avenging my dad. Well, no, that's not true. Revenge is a part of it, I guess. A big part. But the truth is, I want to finish what dad started. For his sake. For everyone's sake. I... Man, this is embarrassing. See, everyone always says I'm a crybaby. A weakling. But if I can defeat Hooktail, well, I won't be those things. I'll be strong, like my dad. I know it'll be dangerous, but I still want to go. Please, Mario. Yeah, yeah, sure, come along. For real? No kidding! Yes! Thank you so much. You won't regret this. Give Sazorn your party! Give his ability is a primer. Press X to shoot out his shell. Use it to retrieve distant items and hit switches. Wow, got the timing right for the button. If you hold X, you can hold his shell in one place after shooting it. After holding his shell in place, release X to fire the shell past Mario and attack. You can even hold Cubes' shell in place, move Mario, and then release the shell. So remember, hold X to shoot the shell out and hold it in one place. 
And Battle Cute's can fight by your side, of course. Why would he fight by the enemy side? Hint, hint. Striking first with his main move, the Shell Toss. He can also strike all ground-bound enemies to one attack with his Power Shell. To swap your partner in the field, press start and pause and go to the party menu. 